Hello and welcome to SCM Connections Connexus Planning One demo. In this demo, we will go over promotional increase demo, which shows how your demand and on-hand inventory is affected if there was a promotional increase in demand. First, we'll go to resources on the left and pick the promotional increase demo. From here, we'll have our task flow open on the right side. So we will go to SNOP Planner Workbook. We have a few different widgets here on the screen. I'm going to verify data setting and change consensus demand plan from revenue to units. That's the only thing I'm going to change here. Next on the consensus demand plan, we will identify the gap to plan, which is the orange part here. Once you identify that, we're going to click on that and that will take us to SNOP consensus demand plan. Work here we will go on top to create new scenarios. I'm going to name it promotional increase. You can name it whatever you prefer. The instructions call for it to be named dot uh, demand plan and you can do that. I'm going to adjust the dates in which we're going to have the promotional increase. Then we will add assumptions, which is 15% increase on selected dates. This increase is only going to be for a month and that's why it's a promotional increase. It's not an overall demand increase. We're only focusing on increasing it for just one month as an advertising sales or promotional increase. Once we're done with that, we're going to save that and we're just looking at assumptions now. We're going to copy the unconstrained demand and paste it in the adjustment. This is how we're going to increase the 15% quantity. And by doing a right click, we're going into edit range. And we're just going to do multiply by 0.15 to increase by 15%. And we're going to do that for each row for the promotional increase time. So I couldn't just go in and click edit to the entire row because we are not doing it for the entire year that we see here or just an undefined time. Since we are only going to do a promotional increase for a month, we have to make sure that that increase is only done in those dates. So it's a little bit tedious um, to go into each row and increase that but just for this scenario that's how it works once we're done changing all the applicable weeks we're going to save the data and then you will see the demand plan change um, ident identify the change um, we can see there has been quite a few changes and the at risk demand has increased. Once you have verified the changes here, we will click on at risk percentage. This will take us to SNOP demand plan and analysis. Here we see at risk forecast in the yellow area. Click on, on that and go to forecast orders. Now we are at demand order analysis. We'll adjust the data settings here um, on top to see late orders only. Down here we can see the forecast orders. You can scroll um, a little bit to the right and see the days, number of days late. Then we return to main dashboard from step one and go to corporate matrix tab on top. 
We'll add our promotional increase scenario to compa compare before and after changes. We can see revenue, margin percentage, key constraints, ending inventory values. <clears throat> and we can see all of that and we compare the increases. We can see during the month of August and September, there is a bump in all of these metrics. Next, we will go to Supply Planner Control Tower in Data Settings. We are going to select our scenario. There's two areas where you're going to put your scenario that we created to make sure we only see that. Now we can see our gating supply items. Up in the capacity tab, we can see line 12 being the gating item. We're going to click on it and go to constraint manager demo and constraint by period tab. We can see the quantity of items we are constrained by. Click on the icon and go to manage pre-plan limit. We're going to create a new scenario here and change the pre-plan. So now we're going to change the pre-plan limit to 90 all the way down. Now we can see the changes in the quantity of our constraints. We're going back to our promotional increase scenario and just comparing the changes that happened uh, between the two scenarios. We're going to adjust the data settings from line 0012 to all constraints and go back to constrained by group tab. Here we're just going to see our changes. Um, and now finally we are going into key metrics we are going to pick our scenarios, all the scenarios that we created for this particular demo, uh, which was promotional increase for me and the pre-plan. So we'll pick that plus the um, initial scenario, the baseline scenario uh, promotional increase. And we're going to compare all three metrics. Here you can see your KPIs and revenue, margins, key constraints, um, on hand inventory, um, and all the metrics and compare um, them based on each scenario. This will just give you a bigger picture of all your changes and then you can go back to your ERP system and make changes appropriately. Um, here in Canaxis, we can see a big picture of um, all the changes and play around in scenarios, but um, the system reports to an ERP system, which um, will allow you to see what changes you need to make um, to uh, fix your demand based on your scenario and go from there. Um, I hope this uh, demo was helpful and if you have any questions, you can leave them in comments um, and have a great day. Thank you.